Well, hello and welcome to Kirby SQL Talk. Today, we're gonna blend three different data sources in Power BI Desktop. So this is the first screen you come to when you're opening up a, a blank Power BI Desktop file. So we're gonna click our Get Data. Now, the three sources we're gonna pull from are an Excel spreadsheet, a SQL Server database, and then a CSV file, comma separated uh, file. So let's grab our Excel uh, workbook. It's called Car Inventory. And we have a fictional car lot here we're selling uh, some cars and we're going to grab the inventory list now before we load it let's click the edit button we're going to make a simple transformation on this table there is a column called make but it's combined make and model let's split that out to make our reporting easier click the split button uh, split column button here and we'll say by a delimiter and then we're going to say we want a custom delimiter it's going to be a hyphen at the leftmost uh, position so now we have two columns, uh, make.1 and make.2. So let's make that a little easier to read. So we'll just call that make and then call this one model. And now we are good to go. So just click close and apply. So let's look at our relationships tab so far. We just have one table called inventory list pulled in from Excel. Let's get some more data. We're gonna grab a, a SQL Server database uh, uh, table. So this is a local instance I have here and with a database that's called AW. I've already logged in, so it's got my credentials cached. Now I'll scroll down, scroll down the list of tables available and there is one called location lookup that gives us some details about the location of these cars. It looks good to go in our little preview, so let's just say load. And then Power BI Desktop loads that. And as you can see, it's already created a relationship for us automatically. This is a nice feature of Power BI Desktop. Since I did have a, a, a column in this table called location ID that maps to this other one here. And it's not as simplistic as just the column name being the same. Power BI Desktop also checks the values, make sure that that kind of relationship makes sense. Let's add a third data source. Click Get Data, we'll say CSV grab a Carfax CSV. Now this has Carfax information about one used car that we want to use as part of our reports. So we'll load that and Power BI Desktop loads that. And as you can see, it's created that relationship. So that's good. Now your semantic model here is set up for you. And for users that create reports, they don't need to know that these tables are linked. That's all done behind the scenes for them. So let's um, create a report. First of all here, you know, you can look at the underlying data. We're all good there. Now click the report button and we're going to um, first of all create a, a line chart here and we're going to put make model private party price and purchase price and that's a nice visual. But now we want to pull data from an entirely different table. Let's say location lookup. We want to find out, um, you know, location ID, a description of that, you know, the type of security involved. We can do that. We, it, a Power BI desktop already knows the relationship between those two tables and it ties those together for us. Um, and then lastly, we want to grab our Carfax information. So we're going to put this in what's called a multi row card and we're going to put the date and uh, comments and then the mileage and then our date here. We just want to see one date. We don't need a date hierarchy. So there we have that. And um, now we're going to click and you know see individual cars. And the Carfax information was just about one type of car, BMW. So when I click BMW, it shows me all the service information for that car because it's got the relation set up, set up here. So you can obviously have uh, um, multiple rows here for all these different cars, but for the purpose of this example, um, we have uh, this data available to us. So that's how you can quickly import three different data sources, uh, blend them together, and then create reports. Uh, thanks so much for watching.